Hello and welcome to this time in the Word of God. We are going to be coming Monday through Friday with probably no more than 15 minutes each day with a Bible lesson. And we're going to go deeper into the Word of God and look at some things, what the Bible is saying as the Spirit of God leads. I am Thomas Joseph. I'm the pastor of the Father's House Church. We are in Chicago. Plus, um, we have ministry uh, in Africa, different places in Africa, in, in Congo, in Tanzania, in East Africa. So, just want to welcome you, and I hope that you could join with us each day for about 15 minutes. The good thing about this uh, format, you can watch it whenever you have time. You can, if you grab your Bible, or maybe just listen while you're, while you you're doing your housework or whatever this is a good format to receive something from the word each day i also want to encourage you to spend time with god on your own every day but thank you very much for joining with us today um we're going to start on a lesson concerning the unction to prophesy the unction to prophesy what is that all about and how we can know the unction. The unction also is the anointing. Uh, but I love the word unction, which if you look up the word anointing in the Greek, where the Bible mentions the word anointing, it also means unction. And so there's an unction that we have to prophesy. And prophesying is so important to the church. God has given that as, as a very special gift. And we're going to look at this to have a good foundation in the Word of God concerning prophecy and the unctions that God gives us. Let's start in John 16. If you have your Bible, I got mine right here. And, and we're going to be reading. And let's look at verse 13. And it says... When Jesus was here on earth, he said, How be it, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. That is the Holy Spirit. Notice, Jesus mentions him as the Spirit of truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. So we look at what Jesus said. He said the Holy Spirit will do these things. And what did he say? He will show you things to come. Um, maybe God has given me this, this word to start with this, possibly, to help people uh, focus and to know that God does speak. Um, you know, some people are not sure how God is speaking or if uh, certain prophecies in these days were real or were they not real? Were they from man's mind or what? I'm not going to get too much into that, but the purpose of this is to say, look, prophecy is real. It's in the word. Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit has come, he will show you things to come. Now, Jesus was speaking of this because he was getting ready to go away. And he said, and when I go, I'm going to send the comforter and the spirit of truth. You know, that's the same, the spirit of truth. And when he comes, he will guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit only deals in truth. He's not going to give any false um, direction. He's not going to say anything false, but he deals with truth. So we're dealing with the one who is the spirit of truth. The idea as we look into this, we're going to get to know him better and we'll get to know when he's speaking and when he's not speaking. He says he will show you things to come. He will uh, announce in detail. I love the word, you know, any definition I give in these uh, lessons, these times in the word, we're going to go to the original Greek and Hebrew in the Bible. Through the Strong's, I use the Strong's Concordance, and it goes directly to the exact passage and, and, and the exact meaning of what God is saying. And so, 
he says he will show you that means to announce in detail it means to declare or rehearse or to speak so the holy spirit is here to announce in detail of things to come to show us things to come and notice what jesus said then in verse 14 he said he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you so notice that the holy spirit takes things from jesus of jesus he glorifies Jesus. He magnifies Jesus to us. So the Holy Spirit is here to reveal Jesus and here to make Jesus known to us. Remember when Jesus was here, he said, I'm here uh, so that, you know, he always talked about the Father. He said, it's not me, but it's the Father that's doing the works. And he was making known to us of the Father. So now when jesus sent the holy spirit the father sent the spirit and he reveals jesus to us so he glorifies he magnifies jesus he said he shall glorify me and then he said he will receive of mine so when the holy spirit has come and when prophecy is going forth remember these are things directly from jesus and the father notice what he said he shall receive a mind and will show it unto you he will announce it in detail unto you he will um rehearse the things to you that jesus wants you to know but then jesus said all things that the father hath are mine therefore said i and he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you so then Jesus is saying, so the Holy Spirit is going to take what I want you to know and give it to you. But whatever he takes from me is something I got from my father. <laughs> so we got the Father, Son, and the Spirit in the operation of prophecy. Remember, prophecy is a gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit it operates the gift. He energizes the gift with his grace we're talking about the real gift of prophecy so i already feel that some people are gaining an understanding about this gift because it's something that's directly from god jesus uh gives what he wants the church to know the holy spirit takes it from jesus and brings it into the church brings it into people that are um seeking god for God to speak. And remember, God speaks so mightily and so often. Um, if we're listening, we will hear him. So the gift of prophecy is such a powerful gift that it comes and the gift is manifested by the Spirit. And we're actually receiving things from Jesus. We're actually receiving things that are on Jesus' mind and on Jesus' heart. Prophecy can come in so many ways and prophecy could come to uh, to an individual prophecy could be given to a church it could be given to a city or a nation you know and the thing is uh god can even speak to your heart by the holy spirit and give you a personal prophecy you know in other words he could begin to tell you things to come that are coming in your own life so these things are what's on the Father's heart. These things are what's on Jesus' mind to give you, to let you know. Notice what it says in Ephesians 4 and 14. Turn in my Bible right here. And this is amazing what it says here. Paul wrote this, but it was given by the Holy Spirit that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about by with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive so he said that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine um there's many winds of doctrine that come winds of teaching that are accurate but paul is saying 
we don't want to be like children and and when every wind of doctrine comes we're blown with it and we sway this this way and we sway that way whenever whatever we hear sometimes you could hear one thing from someone then you hear the opposite thing from someone else and you're blown both ways so now what so he says that you henceforth be no more like little children concerning the word and that's why it's a very that's why these times i believe god had put it on my heart to bring forth the word just daily teachings and those that will join with me, I know you'll be blessed and I know this will help uh, bring a, a greater depth to your knowledge of the word of God and mostly a knowledge of God himself. So he says, these winds of doctrine come by the slight of men and cunning craftiness. It's very interesting, the slight of men, that word slight means like a gambling, like a dice like a gambling dice or fraud. It means fraud. So he's saying you don't have to be tossed to and fro by what people say. Some people say things and they're like throwing the dice. They're like throwing a dice and gambling whether or not what they're saying is true. You know, you, you see what a picture what, what this word is revealing. I love how he said by the slight of men. That's the like someone gambling, someone just throwing something out there. I always tell people, when you're preaching and teaching God's word, never preach or say anything that you don't know is from God. Make sure you test it, make sure you prove it, study that scripture. And same thing goes when you prophesy, make sure you don't say that God is saying something and and you have not proven it you know one pastor i had a long time ago he was a mighty prophet of god um on the south side of chicago and i and when he would give a word of prophecy you could just bet on it you know god was showing it and he would speak but he he advised one time i remember this i was just a teenager and he said when you think god is giving you a word to prophesy he said wait and, and and check with God again double check you know don't give it right away he said this is his advice and you know it, it, you can't say maybe you could do this every time but this is a good principle uh, because sometimes when God speaks you don't have time though you know wait on him again but he said when, when you feel God is speaking to you he said wait and ask God again and let the unction come stronger let God confirmed and say, yes, this is me. And I've done that over the years. And I'll tell you, um, I wait on God, you know, and when I think God is trying to say something, I'll wait. I'll say, God, you know, I'll close my eyes, whatever. I'll say, God, is this really you? And I'll tell you that unction will begin to flare up. That fire of the anointing will begin to flare up and you know, for sure. And then there's certain confirmations God gives. Like sometimes you could feel the word of prophecy in your mouth. Sometimes it, it just rises out of your belly, you know, uh, fire shut up in your bones, you know, different things God can deal with different with uh, people in different ways. But you wait on that confirmation and then you give the word of prophecy. So it's not like you're rolling a dice, like you're gambling. Is this thing right or not? So that's why I said that you be not children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness. That's That means by trickery or subtility, cunning craftiness. So we're not um, doing things and we're not trying to be cunning or subtle, you know, like tricking people. And what Paul was saying, some people are, but we don't wanna be like that. But he says, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. You know, some people are just waiting to try to capture people's attention and capture people's loyalty. And I see the time is almost up, so we'll, we'll, we'll close with this for today, but look for tomorrow. But he says, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. This is the point. Um, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied. So it says, as we speak the truth in love, 
we're motivated by God's love, the love from him and the love for one another, his love. And as we speak the truth, we grow up into him, into Christ, which is the head. He's the head. So we speak things from the head. We speak things from the head, and that will also lead us to the head, because he says, may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body is fitly joined together. So the influence comes from the head, comes into the body by the Holy Spirit. So we speak those things out into the body, out to people, and those things that we speak should draw people back into Christ. And that's what prophecy is all about. But we're just getting started. So join me tomorrow. Um, I just felt led uh, by God just to do small teachings each day to help um, help us gain a greater focus. You know, those that are in the Father's House Church and beyond, you know, wherever you are. And I know uh, people watch us, our, our live services on Facebook from Pakistan, from England, from Africa, many countries in Africa, Congo, Kenya, Tanzania, um, Uganda, Rwanda, you know, different places like that. And so we just appreciate anyone who will join with us in these special daily messages. Uh, look for us, look for the message to pop up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, when you subscribe, then you will get notified when the new video comes. That's an easy way to do it. Plus, subscribing is very good. It will help strengthen our channel. Also, uh, com you know, leave a comment. You know, comments. Uh, I would love to get feedback from you. And then, to be honest, the comments do help uh, make the videos go out more stronger so more people can get blessed so when you comment and you press the like button and you share these things are very good for the channel and uh, god will be glorified and that's just a small way for you to help uh, get get the word out it's all free it doesn't cost you anything so look for us tomorrow and thank you for spending this time this uh, my name is thomas joseph for those of you that didn't catch that at first and we appreciate you watching god bless you Speak the name of Jesus.